Hey YouTube, thank you so much for tuning into my channel and watching this video. Um, as I highlight me uh, getting my Tesla home charging um, project completed for under $130. So please stay tuned to the end. I'm going to not only break down the actual cost of getting everything installed, but also um, highlight a calculator I found which actually shows uh, the difference for the wattage of, of charging it through the regular uh, charger that came with my Tesla to upgrading to a actual um, better one. Um, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe, share, um, and if you do need a code, if you're interested in buying a Tesla, don't hesitate to use mine, which will be found um, in, in the body of, of, of this channel. So thank you so much, and let's get into it. So after about two weeks of owning my Tesla um, at one of our superchargers right here, um, love the supercharging capability to be able to charge the car in like an hour or less depending on where you're at. Um, but this is not cost prohibitive. We only have one supercharger in our area. Um, so this was me just kind of uh, testing it out for those two weeks and you know coming here and um, charging my vehicle. So soon definitely had to decide to actually get a better um, charging capability at home because the overnight charging only allows for about five miles per hour so you can imagine if you leave your car for eight hours you're only going to get about 40 miles um, for that overnight charge so definitely did the research of looking to see what it would take to actually um, boost my car's um, charging rate so here's an example of me charging at home and this is just an outdoor, my outdoor charger with uh, the home charger that came with uh, my Tesla. Um, just had it charged up because I had a few free hours. So on this particular day, I actually moved forward with um, finding an electrician to get everything installed. And so I was super excited. Uh, excuse my garage. We're going through uh, some stuff for our kids and um, a garage sale. So my garage looks a little bit messy. Um, but anywho, um, the, the, the supplies were fairly easy to come by from the Tesla website talking about what was uh, it, what was needed to actually um, create a home charger. Before, I would try to charge my car in the garage. And you can see with having a few other items plugged in. To my garage's circuit, uh, it would uh, trip our, our fuse box every time almost. So my wife hated it after like the first week and she was like, you have to look into getting a better charger. So I did the research online, looked at the supplies that were needed um, and saw that it was pretty easy to actually get those supplies to have them installed. Um, so here's my, my, my box and looking to actually add some more amperage to my, my home box. So going on the Tesla website, I was trying to decide, okay, I know some people have wall chargers, the wall connectors. Is it make sense to try to buy that item or actually just use the charger that came with it? The wall chargers, um, when I looked at them uh, and priced them, were pretty expensive. They're about 500 and even looking on eBay and looking at aftermarket ones was still around you know, $200. So it, it, it gave me the opportunity to say, okay, um, I don't think I need the actual wall charger because my home charger can pretty much do the exact same thing that that wall charger does. Uh, the only difference is I think the wall charger already comes um, with the connector that would be needed. So after looking at the pricing and seeing that the pricing wasn't you know, beneficial to upgrade to the $500 home charging system, the next best thing was to upgrade the actual outlet um, plug. So the plug provides the better thicker amperage to go to your car to charge it quicker so when i looked at everything via tesla i saw that that's all i needed was to actually get a, an extender cable um, and so here's me just kind of going through tesla looking at all those um those kind of details um deciding if it was going to be the best fit for me so i decided to go um with the nema uh, six Nope, I'm sorry, Nima, yep, Nima 650, that would give me the 30 miles uh, per uh, charge for the Model 3. So as I said, all the information is there from Tesla. And it really will give you a breakdown of the actual um, supplies that's even needed, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, I worked with a local electrician, found them through our neighborhood's Facebook webpage uh, to get some of the information, but it is everything that's needed for the Nima 650. Um, it talks about the, the, the breaker that's needed, 
um, some of the wiring and, and everything. So I was able to go uh, to my local um, Home Depot and Lowe's uh, to find the parts um, to, 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 to make sure I could move forward with actually installing um, my outlet. So after purchasing um, my charger, it came out to about $36, which was cool, the actual connector piece. And here are all the parts. So I didn't want to um, disturb the electrician because I just met the guy and be all over his shoulder throughout the entire project. Um, but this is him pretty much finishing up the project and putting the finishing touches on the actual breaker box after the um, actual uh, um, NEMA 560 was installed right under it. So this project was complete in a Saturday afternoon which was really cool um, having an electrician, final electrician able to do it. So the very end of it, of course, I want to double check and see. This is my first night actually charging after the actual new um, charger, the new new piece came in. So this is me actually, you know, putting the Tesla on that charger and double checking on the inside of the car just to see the difference of, of the charging capabilities. So um, first of all, this is just showing a regular uh, outlet. Um, I had to switch and, and put on the regular outlet just to show of the difference um, of it charging. So as you can see, it's saying it's going to take about 24 hours to charge it. It's at 37%. It's only um, pumping out um, a current of 12. And that's how long it would take on the traditional um, outlet, which, you know, if, if you're in a, a, a crunch, 40, 40 miles may not be bad, um, but definitely for most people, even with myself and my own commute, I'm going to need more than that. I'm really going to need my, my car to be charged more than that. So here's just a different uh, plugs as you can see. The new NEMA is a lot thicker uh, to provide for that current. And so here's me actually plugging it up this go round um, to show you the difference of how fast it's going to charge. So here it is, went from 24 hours to five hours and 25 minutes at 37%. And you can see the amperage definitely um, peaked up in terms of putting way more output. And so the next thing I want to show everyone is I actually went to a calculator to show the difference. And so it's going to show the exact same um, outage, but you can see here these two tables shows, you know, me spending about $6.07 for a full charge for 42 hours or $6.07 on 7 hours and 13 minutes. And this is if the car was completely dead, showing the difference of changing those outlets. So here we are. For electrician, the adapter and supplies, I came out at 126.76. So the full thing came under 130. So thanks again for watching. Appreciate you guys. Please like and subscribe um, and uh, be tuned in to the next video.